Hello dear students, I hope you are well. In our lesson today, we're going to do some cross-curricular reading. This means that we're going to touch another, let's say, field. Today we're going to deal with science. More specifically, we're going to see a particular text about the digestive system it doesn't mean that every single word that we're going to see we need to know its meaning it's okay since we're talking about science there might be many words that we do not understand the idea is to try to understand the general meaning all right first of all let's go and see how are uh, these particular organs called the majority of them are the same in the Albanian language as well. So, we have got the stomach, pancreas, liver, small intestine, large intestine, and the esophagus. So, take a look. Do you know how this is called? Hmm? This is the esophagus. What about the second one? Do we know how this is called? Huh? This is the liver. Number three. Here we have got the stomach, of course. This is the same in the Albanian language as well. Number four. If you look closely, if you know what you've learned from biology, that is the pancreas, then we have got the large intensin, and here we have got the small intensin. So all of these are parts of our digestive system. How does the digestive system work? This is what we're going to see together, and we're going to do some exercises as well. Let's start. When we digest food, so digestion, we're talking about the food that comes, we said, from the esophagus to the stomach. Hmm? The body breaks it down into small molecules so it can absorb them. When we swallow, we swallow the food, it passes through, we said, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, and then the large intestine. First, food is broken down, so it's made in very small parts in the mouth. Then it passes down the esophagus into the stomach, where it is broken down even more. So first we have small parts of the food, in our uh, mouth and then even smaller parts we said in uh, the stomach now we have this exercise we have to replace the words that are in black in bold food is broken down into small what what did we see here that food is broken down into small molecules so, if you read carefully, you have the information in the text. Food passes down, it goes down, it, after going through the mouth. So, first it passes through the mouth and then it goes to the esophagus. This is what it read. So, first hmm, it passes, it passes through the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine and then the large Intensive. This is what is said after the mouth. And number three, food is broken down again there. Where was that broken down? It was in the stomach. So it passes down from the esophagus into the stomach. I've already told you. It doesn't mean that you are going to remember all of this, all this information. We just have a general view of what is happening in our digestive system. Let's move on. Then the digested food moves into the small intestine. 
where it is absorbed, it is taken huh? into the bloodstream, into our blood. Any excess water, any extra water, is absorbed back into the body in the large intestine. Finally, any undigested, so that it has not been digested, uh, food such as fiber passes out, out of the body. Let's focus now on what is being asked. Digested food is absorbed into it from the small intestine. Look, so digested food is absorbed into the bloodstream. Where it is absorbed, we read into the bloodstream. And it, what is this? It is contained in undigested food. What was it contained in the undigested food? That was a fiber, because it says any undigested food such as so this is the example of some uh, undigested food and let's move on with the, the rest of the text the liver now remember the liver the liver and the pancreas that was this part play an important part in the digestion the liver makes bile which breaks down fat. This is some sort of liquid that helps in the digestion. The pancreas produces special proteins called digestive enzymes that break large molecules into smaller molecules. Minerals, vitamins and water don't need to be broken down, of course, because they are already small enough to be absorbed by the body. Digestive enzymes cannot break down fiber and so it is not absorbed by the body. So this is the general information that we have about the digestive system. Now, this breaks down fat. What is this that breaks down fat? The bile. Bile breaks down fat, we read. Number seven, they are produced in the pancreas. Go and find the pancreas. What are produced in the pancreas? The digestive enzymes. Hmm? They are produced in the pancreas, we learned. And number eight, they, vitamins and water can be absorbed by the body um, as they are the minerals the vitamins and the water so this is what we will we learn about our digestive system now apart from this scientific information that we got today i would also like to take you to some traditional food that the british have take a look at this picture what can you see in this picture? This is a, very, this is a traditional British uh, breakfast. What do you recognize? Fish and chips, of course, sausages, eggs. Also, they have, we've got the roast beef, the Yorkshire pudding, and the soup. From all these foods that they might have as breakfast, which one do you think is healthy or if there is anything health. Of course, only the soup might be very healthy for them. The rest is unhealthy. Think of our traditional breakfast. Is it the same? Do we have the same breakfast? Is it healthy or unhealthy? This is something to be discussed. This is something that you can have as homework. So, you can ask yourselves, how healthy our traditional dishes in Albania, in our country? Or can we present some of these traditional foods that we have and we can compare them then with some British ones? We can talk with our friends, we can discuss, and why not? We can suggest, we can give some ideas of how to make our breakfast 
or our uh, meal even healthier. Okay, that was the information about our cross-curricular reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I would like you to thank you very much for paying attention. Goodbye.